Hello, welcome to the Weather Report. It's around 10 o'clock on February 20th, 2019, 10 p.m. And uh, the snow has now changed to rain over most of Long Island, a few areas holding on to some freezing rain. Um, doesn't seem like we got a whole lot out there, maybe an inch on the ground. I have some video I'll share with you at the end of this. Um, but right now it looks like rain across Long Island. Snow's hanging on in Connecticut, but mostly rain. And that rain is going to become heavy at times. So uh, we do have uh, some snow reports from the Weather Service we'll uh, put up here. Uh, and uh, nothing really that impressive. Uh, some readings of one and a half inches in Bethpage and Wantour here in Nassau County. And as far as Suffolk County, uh, 1.8 in North Babylon and 1.3 in Islip. And that's probably as high as it's going to get now because it has changed to rain. Uh, and I'm curious to see what the amounts were in New Jersey, if I can get those. Of course, they don't put them on uh, for easy access on the web page. They never do. Uh, so let's uh, go and look at the public information statement here and see if they even issued one. Uh, and they did. So let's take a look and see some snow amounts here for New Jersey here. So it looks like southern New Jersey actually wound up getting more. Some Atlantic County uh, readings of 3 inches of uh, at Smithville, 2.6 inches at Hamilton, 2.1 inches at Galloway, even higher amounts in Burlington County, Marlton, 3.5 inches, uh, and a uh, couple inches in Cape May at El Doro, 2.3 inches. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Middlesex County, Cheesequake, 2.4 inches, uh, in Monmouth County, Tinton Falls, 2.9 inches, I'm not going to read all of these to you, Ocean County, Brick, 3 inches, Toms River, 2.3 inches, so uh, they actually got a little more than we did, and that's because they got into some of the heavier snow that we didn't really get into, uh, and now let's look at the models and see what we've got going on here, uh, as far as our models go, we're just, uh, I'm not going to really go into the long range too much here. I'll just show you uh, what uh, is going to be transpiring over the next, for the rest of the evening into tomorrow morning. Let's not even bother looking at the GFS. We'll look at the NAM and show you that uh, the NAM is actually pretty accurate as to what's going on right now. So uh, the, sn the, the accumulating snow is over. We're going to have rain. Uh, however, north of the city, it's indicating that there, especially in the valleys, in the Hudson Valley, there could be an extended period of freezing rain and ice, and that could be very damaging for them. But for us here on Long Island, just plain rain. Uh, there might be some flooding uh, because some of that rain might be heavy at times uh, and cause some, uh, you know, the, whatever the snow that is around to melt. And this rain could be heavy at times. Uh, heavy heavy uh, showery type precipitation. Eh, who knows, maybe a thunderstorm in there. Probably not, but... Uh, Definitely some heavy downpours uh, through the wee hours of Thursday morning, and then they wrap up, and that moves on, and uh, we should uh, dry out by the afternoon. Uh, as you see, though, we will have some heavy rain, so I'm curious to see what the total accumulated precipitation is here for our area. Yep, it's indicating uh, around an inch, so it could be some localized street flooding uh, because of this. And if we look at the temperatures, I'll show you the warm air coming in for tomorrow. So uh, you'll see here. Uh, here comes the warmer air in for tomorrow. Now, it doesn't warm up all that much, but just enough to keep us rain overnight. The really warm air doesn't really come in until uh, tomorrow, uh, later tomorrow morning and into the afternoon, where highs will probably get near 50 degrees across our area. But that will be for the next weather update. We'll talk about the temperatures and what they're going to be doing. As far as the skies go, I'll briefly look over this just for a little bit. Um, there will be some sun tomorrow afternoon, so whatever's on the ground between the rain and the 50 degree temperatures and the sun should be gone by tomorrow afternoon. Shouldn't, shouldn't even be a trace of it, uh, at least for us here on Long Island and most of New Jersey. Uh, so into tomorrow, you see, and Friday, we've got lots of clouds. So, uh, yeah, not going to really get any, be getting any clear skies, but we've got to get through this storm first. So now I will show you some video I took earlier today and this evening of what the conditions were like outside. February 20th snow update. I'm just showing you what it looks like here at Mineola. Um, barely an inch on the ground. Snowing lightly. Not even sticking. It's sticking to the roads in parts, but not completely. As you see. Uh, so not too bad, but my concern is the period of freezing rain we're going to be getting later. So I'll show you what it looks like as the storm evolves here on Long Island. So this is what it looks like in town here. 
Uh, looks like the sidewalk's clear for the most part, but like I said, it's not really sticking that much to the pavement. It's mostly just the grassy areas. Uh, and like I said, we just have light snow at the moment. So, nothing too bad. That's definitely a vehicle that should have its snow cleared off the roof. But you know the SUVs, they don't do that. So you gotta be careful of them. So that snow could slide off and then cause a problem. We're driving down the road. But anyway, I think that's what it, pretty much what it looks like here in Mineola. Nothing too bad. Pretty decent. No real problems. Alright, actually one more thing while here at the, over the bridge here in Mineola. You see that they are working on this removing the snow, which is good. Visibility is about... I would say almost three quarters of a mile, at least a half mile. So it's not the snow is very light. It's not that heavy. Um, it has been heavy at times, heavier at times, but nothing really, nothing really dramatic. So again, this is, looks like a pretty light event again for our area, at least so far. Uh, so it's again, it doesn't seem like we can accumulate much snow here. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing if you're out and about, but. There you go, right there. So again, this is what it looks like for Mineola around uh, 3.50 in the afternoon on February 20th, 2019. All right, it's around seven o'clock, Mineola, showing you what it looks like. And right now we have some sleet and freezing rain. It is no longer slow snowing. I think it's most, mostly like just a very light freezing rain or drizzle. Uh, Sticking to some of the side roads, so you know, it's this is actually worse now than it was before, just because it's more icy, so that makes it worse. So I gotta go slow, because see that? That's ice down there. I gotta, I gotta go slow. They did put salt down, but it's just a lot of ice out here. You get this freezing rain, because temperature's still below freezing, but it's raining. So it's like forming ice, it's making things very slippery. Unfortunately for us, as you can see, it's getting on the phone a little bit. I don't want to I'll put this back in my pocket. I don't want it getting too wet. Just to show you what it looks like here. Uh, again, you just got to be careful. It's all there is to it, especially over here crossing. It's slippery. They put a lot of salt down, but still, to make it, it can be slippery, so you just don't rush. That's the key. Uh, and be careful. That's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. Here comes a diesel train. Must be the Oyster Bay train. I think it is the Oyster Bay train. It's getting wet. Let's see if I can just wipe this. Alright, I meant to wipe the camera and I shut it off by accident. It is an Oyster Bay train though. That's why I like having a regular camera instead of a phone. But anyway, uh, yeah, so that's going to wrap up this video. And as usual, from Mineola, where no one shovels the sidewalk. I know it's a very little bit of, a bit of snow, really. It's barely anything, but, you know, just... And you, know, you see a town that has no sidewalk shoveled. It doesn't look very inviting for people to walk around. And therefore, they don't. But anyway, it's not too bad out. This road is pretty clear. Just, again, be careful. Exercise caution. So we'll be gone by tomorrow. Take it easy.